just came to mind today that less than a year ago, Fort Smith and the River Valley experienced a, a record-breaking flood where we had to band together and figure out how we were going to save our city and save our community and figure out a way how we were going to feed those that were displaced and harmed by it all. And here we are again, um, facing this time an unknown. But as I move about the community, I realize that uh, the people in this river valley, they're brave and they're prepared to deal with this because they recognize the importance of following the guidelines that we'll establish. They're placing themselves in position to help where needed. And we're gonna get through this too. Um, in this job, sometimes you experience some things that uh, you didn't think you'd run across. And I've discovered sometimes you have to cry. And this is one of those times because we're facing an un unknown. It's uh, something that we've never experienced before. It's not only touching us, but it's touching our entire nation and the world. But this time it boils down to what we do as individuals. And we can, we can do our part. If we follow those that are in the lead by making sure we, we practice extreme hygiene, keeping our hands clean and, and keeping our hands out of our faces and, and just doing things a little bit better than what we've been doing. And I'm encouraging people that there's enough, there's enough supplies, the supply chains are open. There's enough to go around if we don't hoard and, and, and gather up and take home more than we need. Let's be considerate about our senior citizens and those that are less fortunate that may not have transportation to get to the supermarket or get to the drugstore, wherever they need to go. Because what's happening now, when they arrive, the things are gone, the essentials that they need are already gone. And then that's not who we are. So I'm calling on everyone to change our attitudes just a bit and refocus on who we are and what we're capable of doing in difficult times. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna trust those that we've placed in leadership. We do, we have accountable, transparent leadership. And they're doing all they can, all they can possibly do with the resources available. Uh, they're being vigilant to the messages coming out of Washington and out of the state offices. And everybody's doing everything they can locally to make sure that this tragedy doesn't hit us any harder than it's going to. At this point, there are no known presumptive cases in the River Valley, but we know it's coming. And with that in mind, let's be prepared to make sure that we don't experience any health issues beyond what we need to. And again, I say it starts with each one of us. I'm going to isolate myself at home and, and read a book. I'm going to declutter. I, my place is cluttered. I'm going to declutter. Uh, and, and I'll find other means. I'll call people, people that I haven't spoken to in a long time. And I'm going to do something else I haven't done in a long time. I'm going to sit down and write a friend a letter. And I encourage all of you to do that. We don't know how long this is going to last. We don't know how many is going to be affected. But let's do our part and make sure that at the end of the day that I will not be responsible for transmitting this dangerous disease and that I won't get it because I've done my part to stay isolated, stay at home. Do that for all of us. And at the end of the day, we can proudly say we're Fort Smith proud, but we're River Valley strong. <laughs>